Welcome back Morales to another video and in this one I'm going to show you how you can get the ERC20 token burns for different chains. Now to give you some context for this occasion a burn means token sent to a null address and I've specified the 0x address as my null address which is why we're getting that for each and every transaction. And then we're also getting data such as the date, the contract address, we get the transaction hash which means we can easily copy this, go to an explorer, paste that in, and get even more data about this transaction. We get the value as well. And what's even cooler is if you use the get token metadata endpoint in, and combine that with this right here, you can get the USD price for each and every specific burn and display that beautifully uh, as we do right here, but with that addition. And you can easily change, let's say we take Binance right here, hit submit, and in just a few seconds, we get the recent burns on Binance chain. And I've also added some animation here, this fire or flame right here. I hope you like that. If you do, smash the like button for it. And if you want to learn how to build this, stay tuned and I will show you how. Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. Welcome back guys, let's get started with this application and let's start by looking at what we need to have in order for us to create this. So we need this drop down menu with different chains and what happens is based on which one we choose we want to send that specific chain id to the backend server and then the backend server is going to do the request to the morales api send back the response to the front end client and lastly we want to display it beautifully as we do right here so three steps all in all let's go back to visual studio code and set up our root folder the get erc20 burns and within that Let's have a backend and a frontend folder. The backend is going to be an express server. So make sure you install that dependency along with morales.env and course. Next, we're going to need to add the morales API key inside the .env file, because if we don't have an API key, we can't use the morales API. And to get our API key, let's go to morales.io and log in to our account. If you don't have an account already, go to pricing to compare the different plans that we have and we have a very generous uh, free plan it's the starter plan right here but if you're serious about building within the web3 space and you're looking to create the next unicorn in the web3 space the pro plan the business plan or the enterprise is the one to go with i'm using the pro plan right here so i'm gonna log into that one and once i'm at my admin dashboard right here i can go to web3 apis and get my api key from here copy this go back to visual studio code and create an env variable within the env file along with your api key so that means we can use it in the index.js file we're gonna import .env along with the other dependencies and right here is where we can get the api key from the .env file using process.env and then store it within this variable and we're gonna be able to use this later on or further down this file but let's go through it step by step so we're gonna have one endpoint it's gonna be a get request that the front end is doing to the backend server on slash get burns and once we go to this endpoint the backend server is gonna take that parameter which is the chain id and it's gonna do a request to the token api and the slash get erc20 burns endpoint that morales provides us we're gonna pass along these three parameters uh, you can easily change this limit number to let's say 25 3 or i don't know like 70 if you want so I, i'll i'll stick with 15 because i don't need more than that in order for me to display the possibilities uh, the first parameter is going to be the chain id the second as i said the limit and the third in my case is gonna be the wallet address in which is the null address the one we send the burn tokens to and once we get the response back we're gonna send that to the front end client and down here is where we use morales.start function passing along our api key and also start listening to our backend server all right that's about it let's close this one up and go to the front end folder which is the next.js application and make sure you also install axios and react select 
then we're going to have two components main and header so header is pretty straightforward it's the image and the title so let's close this one and let's go into main instead so we're going to import all of these things we're gonna use use state we're gonna need axios and select from react select and also the css file now i'm going to link the github repo in the description below this video i'm not gonna dive into the styling but make sure you clone that or check that out if you want to learn more about the styling of this application next up let's create three state variables right here we're gonna have show result result and chain value these are the drop down values that we have so we have the labels right here on the right side and then we have the value that means the chain id that we are sending back to the backend server some custom styling for the drop down menu and that's about it then we have these two functions that we render on change when we uh, you can see down here when we have in the drop down menu when we choose one of the values that's when these this function is executed and that means we take the value and we store it inside this uh, state variable right here and the second value we run when we click this submit button and that function is handle submit we take that value from uh, the state variable up top and we extract the value because we don't want this whole thing right here we don't need this label we only need this value right here so we're taking that storing it inside the chain variable and sending that as a parameter to the backend server when we do a request right here and once we get the response back we can both console log it but i'm also saving the data inside this uh, result variable and we set show result to true and down here is where we render everything so when show result is true for each and every item inside the result array this is what we're going to render let me minimize this fire section because that's only the flame um, that animation that we have and then we can see that we have the rest of the data so we have date contract address transaction hash value and from wallet which is uh, this left section right here and then we have the right section which contains the data for each and every value right here so we have the timestamp we're splitting it we have the contract address the transaction hash which we slice to not display the whole thing the burn value and also the from wallet right here and look how quick and easy we can get all this data and display it like we do right here and if we choose ethereum for example hit submit we get the latest burns on the eth mainnet like so i hope you enjoyed this quick little video if you have any questions make sure you post them in the comment section below or in our morales forum don't forget to smash the like button and i will see you in the next video